Blue Beetle is the name of three fictional superheroes appearing in a number of American comic books published by a variety of companies since 1939. The most recent of the companies to own rights to Blue Beetle is DC Comics, which bought the rights to the character in 1983, using the name for three distinct characters over the years. The original Blue Beetle was created by Charles Nicholas Wojtkowski and Fox Comics and later owned by Charlton Comics. The first Beetle was Dan Garrett, later spelled Dan Garrett, who initially gained superpowers from a special vitamin, which was later changed to gaining powers from a sacred scarab. The original Blue Beetle was featured in not only his own comic, but also a weekly radio serial. The second Blue Beetle, created by Charlton and later taken over by DC Comics, was the successor to Dan Garrett known as Ted Cord. Cord jumped to the DC Comics universe during the Crisis on Infinite Earths alongside a number of other Charlton Comics characters. The second Blue Beetle later starred in his own 24-issue comic. Cord never had any superpowers, but used science to create various devices to help him fight crime. He became a member of the Justice League of America and was later killed during the prelude to DC Comics' Infinite Crisis crossover. The third Blue Beetle, created by DC Comics, is Jamie Reyes, a teenager who discovers that the original Blue Beetle scarab morphs into a battle suit allowing him to fight crime and travel in space. Over the years, Reyes became a member of the Teen Titans and starred in two Blue Beetle comic series. In DC Comics' 2011 New 52 reboot, Jamie Reyes was the primary Blue Beetle character, only occasionally referring to past versions. With the subsequent continuity revision, DC Rebirth, the previous versions were restored. The original Blue Beetle, Dan Garrett, first appeared in Fox Comics Mystery Men Comics No. 1, cover dated August 1939, with art by Charles Nicholas Wojtkowski, as Charles Nicholas, though the Grand Comics database tentatively credits Will Eisner as the scripter. One a rookie police officer, he wore a special bulletproof costume and took Vitamin 2X, which endowed him with super energy, and he was assisted by a neighborhood pharmacist in his fight against crime. Blue Beetle starred in a comic book series, comic strip and radio serial, but like most Golden Age superheroes, he fell into obscurity in the 1950s. The comic book series saw a number of anomalies in publication, 19 issues, number 12 through number 30, were published through Holyoke Publishing. No issue number 43 was published. Publication frequency varied throughout the run. And there were gaps where issues were not published, with large ones occurring in early 1947 and between mid-1948 and early 1950. In the mid-1950s, Fox Comics went out of business and sold the printing plates for some stories featuring the Blue Beetle to Charlton Comics. Two reprinted stories from the original Blue Beetle series were initially published in Charlton's anthology comic space adventures, hashtag 13-14 October. 1954, January. 1955, Charlton Comics then began publishing their own Blue Beetle series, taking over numbering from the horror anthology series The Thing. Beginning with issue number 18, February. 1955, Issues hashtag 18-19 consisted entirely of reprinted Fox comic stories. Hashtag 20-21 included new adventures of the Golden Age character. The series was cancelled after these four issues, with numbering taken over from number 22 onwards by Mr. Muscles. Three one more original story starring the Golden Age incarnation of the character was published as a backup feature in Nature Boy number 3, March. 1956. In 1964, Charlton Comics began publishing a new series of Blue Beetle 4, which substantially revamped the hero, reinventing him as a university professor and altering the spelling of his name to Dan Garrett. The first issue, June 1964, was a new origin story that depicted Dan Garrett coming into possession of a mystical Egyptian scarab that granted him superpowers and beginning his career as the Blue Beetle. 
After five issues were published, the next issue was numbered as number 50, July. 1965, taking over numbering from the anthology comic Unusual Tales. The series ended with issue number 54, February Ma. 1966, its numbering taken over afterwards by the anthology comic Ghostly Tales. Issues hashtag 1-5 and hashtag 50-53 were written by Joe Gill and issue number 54 by Roy Thomas. Art for all 10 issues was by Bill Fraccio and Tony Tallarico. Later in 1966, Blue Beetle was reinvented again in a set of backup stories published in Captain Atom No. 83, November. 1966, through No. 86, plotted and drawn by Steve Ditko. 5. They introduced Ted Cord, a student of Dan Garrett's, who took on the role of Blue Beetle following Garrett's apparent death. Cord was an inventor hero, using a variety of gadgets, with a day job of running his own research lab. This Beetle received his own series in 1967, also by Ditko, which ran for five issues until the entire Charlton Action Heroes line of comic books ceased publication in 1968. 6, 7, 8, the story planned for a sixth issue was eventually printed, without colouring, in the fan publication Charlton Portfolio No. 1 in 1974. Both Blue Beetles reappeared in the third issue of AmeriComics, a title published by AC Comics in 1983-84. In the first story in this issue, Ted Cord fought a bogus Dan Garrett, but the second story was more significant. It revealed that the original 1940s Dan was reincarnated as the Silver Age version, minus his memories of his earlier existence, by some unspecified gods, presumably the ones responsible for his mystic scarab. The gods subsequently resurrected Dan again and sent him off to save Ted Cord's life, leaving him a note saying simply, try not to get killed this time. After this adventure, Cord turned the Blue Beetle name back over to Dan. Americomics was cancelled after issue number 6, and so far this story has never been referenced by any other publisher. With the rest of the Charlton Comics superhero lineup, Blue Beetle was sold to DC Comics in 1983. A new Blue Beetle series starring Ted Cord began publication in 1986, integrating the hero into the DC Comics shared universe. The series ran for 24 issues, June. 1986 May 1988, all written by Len Wein. While the series largely carried over the status quo and characters from Charlton Comics, some new elements were introduced, most notably, Ted Cord was made a billionaire industrialist as his research lab was reinvented as the massively successful R&D company Cord Industries. Blue Beetle became a member of the Justice League upon the launch of a new series in 1987, beginning with Justice League No. 1, May 1987. Depicted with a more comedic tone than in the Blue Beetle solo comic, Ted Cord became best friends with teammate Booster Gold. Blue Beetle remained as a main character on the series, as it was retitled Justice League International and then Justice League America. Following the event miniseries Zero Hour, both Blue Beetle and Booster Gold left the series and began starring in the new team title Extreme Justice, which ran for issues hashtag 0-18 January. 1995 July 1996, Ted Cord later became a recurring character in Birds of Prey and starred in the 2003-2004 miniseries formerly known as The Justice League. The character of Ted Cord was killed off in the one-shot comic Countdown to Infinite Crisis, May 2005. In 2006, DC introduced a new Blue Beetle, teenager Jamie Reyes, whose powers are derived from the Scarab, now revealed as a piece of advanced alien technology. The series was initially written by Keith Giffen and John Rogers, 9, with artist Cully Hamner. 10, Giffen left in issue number 10, and Rogers took over full writing duties, joined by a new artist, Raphael Albuquerque. 11, Rogers left the title with issue number 25 to concentrate on his television series Leverage. 12, but after three fill-in issues, Lila Sturges became the main writer in issue hashtag 29, 13, 
but the series was cancelled with issue hashtag 36. 14. Editor Dan Didio put the cancellation down to poor sales and said that Blue Beetle was a book that we started with very high expectations, but it lost its audience along the way. 15. All three incarnations of Blue Beetle were depicted in Booster Gold, Volume 2, Hashtag 6. 16. Following the cancellation of Jamie Reyes' solo series, the character was brought back to star in a backup feature in Booster Gold, once again written by Sturges. 17. The backup feature ran through issues Hashtag 21-25, August-December 2009 and Hashtag 28-29, March-April. 2010. A new Blue Beetle comic was launched as part of the New 52 initiative in September 2011, with Jamie Reyes history being rebooted with a new origin, and without any apparent history of Cord or Garrett, as prior Blue Beetles. The new book was written by Tony Bedard and drawn by I.G. Guara. 18-19, Blue Beetle was cancelled after issue number 16, March. 2013, Jamie Reyes' story was then continued in the new title Threshold, written by Keith Giffen, which ultimately ran for eight issues, March-October. 2013. The 2016 publishing initiative DC Rebirth restored the history of Dan Garrett and Ted Cord as previous Blue Beatles. A new Blue Beetle series was launched that year, with a one-shot special Blue Beetle, Rebirth, October. 2016, preceding Blue Beetle number 1, November. 2016, once again written by Keith Giffen. The series starred Jamie Reyes, while also featuring Ted Cord as an ex-superhero who acts as his mentor. The series ran until issue number 18, April. 2018, Ted Cord, once again as Blue Beetle, co-starred alongside Booster Gold in the 2021-22 limited series Blue and Gold by Dan Jurgens. Jamie Reyes remains the primary Blue Beetle for DC Comics, however, starring in the 2022-23 limited series Blue Beetle, Graduation, Day Written by Josh Trujillo and illustrated by Adrian Gutierrez.